Hello, my name is Ecto. Welcome back to Waterworld. We are back here in Waterworld, and last episode, we got ourselves some tridents. Um, and it's all very exciting. I'm very excited to have some tridents. So we got two, um, and I just want to see what we might get out of an enchantment. Uh, oh, I'm breaking three. So we can get loyalty and impaling. I think you can get riptide. We can't. You can't get channeling, from what I understand. Um, but let's try and put unbreaking three and see what we get. Oh, we got ripped. Oh, riptide two and unbreaking three. Okay, what do we get here? Impaling five. Wow, that is insane. Um, oh, let's do it. <gasps> Look at that loyalty three, unbreaking three. And impaling five. So, oh man, that is that is an amazing trident right there. So, <laughs> we need we need to fix this. Um, oh, that is so exciting. Um, Riptide two is you know that's quite good, but um, it's not like the best. Let's just not not do that. So, so so so. What I have done is I've been doing some fishing. Been doing some fishing. Um, because we wanted a mending enchantment and if we go in here and have a little look-see um, You can see I got a fair amount of books, but somewhere somewhere I did see Look we've got a riptide 3 so we can actually put that one on there Maybe it would be nice to have a riptide one just for underwater shenanigans um, And then this one is basically our you know the one that we use instead of maybe like a bow and arrow basically Um Oh, we've got a random bow there. We don't need that one. Where is it? There it is. We've got a mending book. Uh, and I need I need to do some more. Need to do some more more fishing uh, to try and get that. But let's, 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 let's. So this is the loyalty one. So we should get... Yeah, there you go. So, wow. Loyalty three. And breaking three. Impaling five. That is ridiculous. And mending. And that cost us... Two. There we go. Right. So that is durability 10. So uh, what I should do is, in fact, let's go back. Let us go back to our little spider farm. Our little spider farm. And we'll, I'm going <laughs> to, basically, I'm going to, I'm going to repair this a little bit. A, just a little bit, just to get some XP. And, um, bam. Uh, so that we can actually, like, start using this and, and test it out a little bit. Um, come here, come, come here with your, now, right, this is 10, what happens if we do that? Oh, that's still, there we go, that's a little bit better now, yeah, 20, look at that, okay, okay, come on, come on, spiders. That's two hits, there we go, and that takes, yeah, there we go, okay, so we are, we are getting there, come on. Come on, spider. So we can, it looks like we can just use this as like a normal, a normal either sword or axe maybe as well as a trident, which is pretty, pretty amazing. Like I've not really, like two hits, That's that seems pretty good. What's the attack value? Does it say nine attack damage? And that is seven. Wow. Wow, that is huge. So it's better than a diamond sword, I'm guessing. Is it like an axe? Have I got an axe on me? No, of course not. Let's just quickly... Let, let's make an, uh, just an iron axe and see. Oh, it actually says. Nine attack damage. Yeah, so it's basically... It's like... It's like an axe. But this one we can throw as well. Um, yes, come here. Come over this way. There we go. Oh, yeah. We've got one here. Oh, hey, whoo, huh. I've got to be careful because these are cave spiders. Can I, can I get you? Doesn't look like it. Um, that is 66 out of 250 yet. So that is not bad. So now, oh, there's one here. Let's actually, let's actually test it. Let's test the loyalty. <laughs> Throw away joke. Boom. And then that obviously... That takes one durability, it's, it seems, which is not bad. Not bad at all. And um, so the Impaling 5, from what I understand, I think 
I think that is underwater that it works just as well, basically. The the water doesn't. I'm, I might be wrong. I might be wrong about that. Let's go and test it out up here, maybe underwater. Let's see. Oh, I need to. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, that is, that is quite cool, isn't it? That is like, oh, wow. Uh, is the trident like the best thing in Minecraft right now? I think it is. I think it is. So I'm gonna I'm gonna repair this and what I'd like to do is I'd like to get another mending book really um, for this bad boy and then we can put Riptide 3 on it. I don't think I need anything else. So you can't put Riptide uh, and Loyalty on the same trident. Uh, they are mutually exclusive, sort of like Mending and Infinity nowadays. Uh, and what Riptide does is it allows you to throw it underwater and it will, or it works in rain as well, um, but it basically launches you forward. So underwater, that is a pretty nice thing to have. So this is the impaling loyalty one is probably more good uh, day to day above land, whereas Riptide is like a brilliant thing to have underwater. So that is what I'm going to be doing, getting the, getting these two things, um, yeah, up to scratch basically. Hopefully, I can get another mending book. Uh, so I've been fishing for a little while and messing around with my trident, and I actually discovered I had <laughs> had another um another chest with some things in uh including another mending and i've actually got yet another mending on top of that and i've also got another riptide one so that's pretty that's pretty great and what i what i've realized is i probably need a way to differentiate so let's put mending on there first so that's riptide 2 i'm breaking 3 and mending and now we can put riptide 3 on there that's 30 yeah that'll do that's fine there we go and um let's actually Let's actually name this Riptide. And there we go. So that's, yeah, Riptide. There we go. Excellent stuff. And we've got one with Loyalty, which I probably should rename as well. Um, and I've, I've been messing around with the Loyalty. Like, I've just seen what the what the range is. And it, it does, like, take... There you go. Oh, look at that. I actually hit the fish. That's pretty cool. That's pretty nice. So, yeah, I've been, I've been experimenting with just how far it can go. I didn't hit that one. I didn't hit that one. I don't know if... Oh, maybe I did. Maybe I did. Um, it's The range is it's quite good. It's not as far as a bow. Um, and it doesn't break things like I was, try, I was trying to break... Like, um, well, I don't know why. There's like a little glitch here. Um, I was trying to break these, but uh, it doesn't, which is a sad times. But it does, obviously, you know, you can just use it as a normal, as a normal tool. So, I've got to say... It's it's really good. It's probably gonna replace a sword at least for me. I don't know if we can put looting on here. I'd not even thought about that. Um, I wonder. I have got a looting. I just want to see if it actually goes on there. No, it does not. Unless it's just too full right now. But I don't think it does. So that's possibly a good reason to still have swords i suppose is is for just for the looting effect but for the day to day i think the old loyalty with impaling 5 is um it's well it's pretty good going let's actually shove that in there there we go um so i'm going to repair our riptide one and then we're going <laughs> to we're going to we're going to try it out underwater and i am excited i'm very excited oh actually no let's let's take the boat to the spider farm and uh, no, nope, I'm going the wrong way. There it is. And yeah, yeah, Riptide. Oh yeah, it is raining, which is exciting. Not usually exciting, but it means that we can actually use this uh, in the air as well. Now I don't have a set of Elytra, so um, we we can't fly, obviously. But we, <laughs> I haven't tried it out yet. I thought I'd do it on camera. Let's see. <laughs> Look at that. Let's. Oh wow, we went quite far. Uh, let's try that again. So what I've noticed is that Riptide basically doesn't work uh, just above land if it's not raining. Let's let's uh, oh well, actually no, let's do it this way. There we go. Um, and let let's see. Let's. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> that is amazing. Let's. Oh, you know what? 
Oh, it doesn't... It doesn't go that far, actually. Interesting. I can't say it goes very fat. Like, it, yeah. I would have thought this would be a lot better underwater. Can we... <laughs> Doing that in the air is hilarious. Oh, and it's... Oh, but can I still use it? Yeah, even though it's covered. I, I, I wonder, can I, like, actually go up? Oh, uh. Yeah, I am. Oh, look at that. I can just go, like, right up. Look at that. Oh, that is quite cool. So, I would surmise that this is a lot better to have when you are... When you've got wings, because underwater, actually, I'm sort of, I'm sort of disappointed. It, it, the water really slows us down, um, which I get. But I figured, you know, with it being, you know, part of the underwater mechanics, that it would, it would provide a lot more momentum. But uh, I think this is, this is, the riptide is clearly the thing to have when you're flying around with an ultra. Um, Although it only works when it's raining, so it's, you know, also not not amazingly useful. But I bet you, I think you can launch out from underwater with an Elytra like like that, you know, and go up. <laughs> that is fun. Um, yeah, I'm a little disappointed in that. I've got to be honest, I'm a little disappointed. The impaling, impaling and loyalty is the best. Um, oh, I missed. I missed, I missed, I missed, I missed. There we go. Um, that is that is really awesome. I do love that. So at least we've got we've got one that is totally worth it and one that is less so. It would be nice to have channeling. Um, and I think the only way you can get channeling is by en enchanting. I think that's the only we the only way to get channeling, which is the thing that basically in in rainstorms or is it no, it's during thunderstorms. It, it basically channels lightning, which is pretty amazing. Um, but we're not quite there yet. I am underwater, and there is a drown there, and I wanted to see how good my trident is against a drowned in water. So let's see. One hit. Wow, two hits. Three hits. That's quite a lot, actually. That is quite hardy, those drowned. Um, I wonder if, well, it's got Impaling 5. I wonder if I can, like, put a sharpness on there or something like that. A smite? I do not know. I don't know if I can. I've got, like, a dolphin mucking along. <laughs> the, the, the um, what is it called? Dolphin's grace that you get when they're around is insane. Um, I sort of wish you could, like, keep them around because it is, it is rather... Yeah, it's a lot. Oh, look at it. Look at it. It's, like, it's too fast. Um, okay, so I just wanted to see. I wanted to have a look at that and uh, and test out the um, how good they were against like a drowned. Um, I'm going to head back and see if we can put something like sharpness on and if we can beef this up even more because that would be awesome. So I've got myself in like a, <laughs> in a bit of a spot of bother. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to extra like get out of it basically oh wow oh wow drowned us so fast um i'm trying to get out of it using my um my new toy basically but oh, i don't think that is actually doing anything i think it's literally stopping right let's get out let's get out and try it this way i feel like this might be better a better way of doing it there we go it's um yeah oh there we go that's a little bit better um and let's see about actually <laughs> you can see it I've got a um I've got a shield as well. I just thought it would be fun to, <laughs> to run around basically like a gladiator. Um There we go. So there we go. There we go. So that is it's not too bad, and obviously we can immediately repair the um the trident as well because uh, well we can, you know, with the um, with the mending and is there anything else? No, that's a thing. We've got more stuff there. Let's uh, let's mend our pick as well a little bit. There we go. Lovely stuff. So 
Oh, oh, that's it's okay. It's okay. I thought we were gonna get um get harmed then by poison, but we're okay. So I presume, I presume that these haven't been pilfered yet because there was a lot, like a lot, of um of drown that just came. Uh, but I think what what I've learned at least is getting out of a boat is instrumental, and it it sort of it it's sort of a oh there it is, um. A cross between a sword or an axe, I suppose, and a a slightly slightly not as good bow. Um, oh, what we've we got? Impaling two. Eh, not not amazing. Not amazing. Let's go up again. I keep because I'm just so used to swimming around with a conduit now. I keep thinking I can just stay underwater as long as I want. And that is not the case. So it's it's a really good tool to have that takes up. The, the space of basically two other tools that you might be um, aware of. I, I feel like I have raided these before. The things that we're getting aren't that amazing. So I feel like we might have we might have raided this before. Uh, which is alright. I haven't raided a monument in a while. Um, <laughs> I sort of missed doing it. There it is. Um, yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. I think I've raided this before. But uh, it was nice to nice to sort of come, come up. Oh. Hey. Who, huh? Oh. Look at that. Do the bubbles not work if um if there's coral in the way? That is interesting. Oh, uh, I need to replenish, replenish. There we go. Let's have a little closer look. That's what it looks like, at least. That that bit of coral is completely blocking that, which is that is interesting to know. Okay, I don't think I realised that. Can I get up? There we go. So, um, I think that's probably all we're going to have time for for today. It was a bit of trident experimentation. I'm I'm very pleased with my new trident. I've got to say, the Riptide, yeah, I'm a Riptide would be a lot more use if it didn't just work in the rain. I can imagine flying around and a, with an Elytra, and that would be that would be pretty amazing. But as it is, oh, let's let's actually do the shield as well. <laughs> Look at that. I do like that. And now look, that the sunrise just goes. <laughs> um yeah, so Riptide not as not as great as I thought and and doing the um <laughs> do, doing the trident like this is a bit weird. I'm going to get it back. Oh. There it is. Wow, that was a bit weird. I was a bit scared then. Um yeah, doing it whilst holding a shield looks weird. Um, but the I like I like this one. I like this one a lot. Um, I think it looks cool. Am I getting it back? There it is. There it is. I'm I keep freaking out that I'm not gonna get it back, but um I, I always have so far, so it works quite well. I don't know if it can get stuck behind like blocks, maybe. Might need to do some more testing, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed me messing around with some tridents. I'm liking the trident so far, even though it looks like maybe I'm just holding a giant fork as well. <laughs> but I'm okay with that. I think the Trident is uh, it's definitely a good tool to have around. Um, I, I think it w it will be a mainstay for me. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you, you did enjoy it. If you did, a like or comment is very much appreciated, as is hitting that little subscribe button if you fancy. Um, I've been Hector. This has been Waterworld. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>